Hi, I'm Willie and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I am still working on getting this video out because I know everybody wants to see it and I am really excited about that. But we're also doing something kind of cool. We're going to try to install that on a cloud key. But what I want to talk to you about today is something that we should have been talking about a year ago. Um, anybody who works in the compliance world or deals with SSL certificates probably already knew this change was coming, even though you're not seeing it on all the tech blotters. But as of March 1st, 2018, you will only be able to purchase an SSL certificate for two years, which in my opinion is not a bad thing. Now, a lot of the CAs, if we are going to get to these, <coughs> excuse me, these shorter issuing periods, uh, they need to come up with a, a method like Let's Encrypt uses where these are these are automated, in my opinion. I don't mind going through, but I manage a lot of SSL certificates certificates. So come March 1st, uh, it could be it could be very interesting. Now, I have read that some of the companies, some of the CAs where you buy your certs, if you reissue after March 1st and you have a three-year SSL certificate, because we've gone through this before, if you remember. You used to be able to get SSL certificates for five years, and then it got shortened to three years. Now, if you have a three-year SSL certificate and you go to rekey it, it's my understanding that some companies are automatically going to shorten the date to two years. Now, where that becomes problematic is from last March up until this March, because we knew that this was going to happen. So if you've purchased a, uh, a three-year SSL certificate, and you paid, you know, and you didn't use, you didn't buy the cheap SSL certificate, you know, for the the $15 for three-year SSL certificate, I'm not losing any sleep over this. But if you are buying, uh, you know, more expensive SSL certificates to get the green bar and all that stuff, uh, and you've done that within, you know, the last year, you know, you, or not really, I guess, so much in the last year is it going to be problematic, but if you've done it in the last few months, because you're going to lose a significant amount of that time if you have to rekey it. So if you are watching this video and you're going to buy an SSL certificate between now and March 1st, just buy the two-year. That way, you know, you don't buy three years because there are they are still selling the three-year certificate. I promise you, all of these places are still going to take your money for three years, and then if you rekey, you know, after March 1st, so if you bought today, you paid for three years, and then you got to rekey after March March 1st, a lot of these places are going to go ahead, and they're going to lop that third year off. Now, I don't know who all's doing that, but I have read it. But let's talk a little bit about how these decisions get made. The CA Browser Forum is a group of companies that have come together, and you can see the CAs, and I'll put a link to this, all of the certificate authorities that are members and you saw yes Amazon apparently is their own certificate authority and then you've got Cisco, Komodo, uh, it looks like I think GoDaddy's on the list I don't know who's using GoDaddy certs, um, Network Solutions if you want to overpay there's Trustwave, SSL.com so there's all kinds of CAs that are in this group and then you have the browser companies the internet browser software companies so you've got 360 Apple Komodo Google Microsoft Mozilla and Opera now it's not necessarily the CAs that are pushing for this these changes as it is uh, Google Microsoft Mozilla they are more worried about keeping the end user safe and we thank them for that but at some point we've got to get you know, let's encrypt. I didn't. I didn't used to want to use it, but if we're going to redo certificates every 90 days, which may not be a bad idea, honestly, to to keep that identity, you know, valid and and you know, making sure that we've authenticated these things. Let's get some sort of an automatic renewal system like Let's Encrypt has. But I'm going to leave a link to this. You can take a look at it. It's ballot 197 is the the ballot that passed uh, and it started with ballot 193 you can see 825 day certificate lifetimes and then ballot 197 I'll put these out there but it is actually I think a good idea that that we are shortening the period of SSL certificates and every website should be SSL it, it doesn't matter what you're doing nobody it's nobody's business and there's a lot of things that if a website isn't running SSL you know, a lot of uh, cross-site scripting attacks and all, all kinds of uh, mischievous things can happen if we're not running uh, SSL. So uh, one other quick thing, I'm going to put a link. We've got a Discord channel 
now and I'm going to put a link to that down there and I want to reach out and I want to say hi to Charlie. Charlie approached me after the last live stream a couple of weeks ago and said, hey, you should have a Discord channel. I said, if you want to do it and you want to be the administer, administrator, go ahead and set it up. And he has done a fantastic job. So come on over and join us at Discord. There's always plenty to talk about. We've got all kinds of uh, channels set up in there. And we're going to move to that instead of the forum on the H5 website. So that's it for today. Uh, Ubiquity videos come in this week. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.